Hi there, this is Train Signals' Heather Ackman, and with me today is Professor Alan Ackman of DePaul University's Writing, Rhetoric, and Discourse Department. Hi there. In this MS tip, we will demonstrate some ways to grade papers faster using tools that come right with Windows 7 and Microsoft Word 2010. In the past, I would spend hours handwriting comments on students' papers. Recently, though, students have started submitting papers electronically, so I had to find new ways of giving my students feedback. I typically provide three kinds of feedback, sentence-level edits, paragraph comments, and more general comments about the paper as a whole. There are several ways to make corrections and comment on students' papers within Microsoft Word. First is a tool called Track Changes. For simple, sentence-level edits within an essay, I click the Track Changes button located on the Review tab in Word 2010, and then start typing edits. Microsoft Word then displays the edits in line with the original text, which makes them easy to compare. For more complicated feedback, I use the Comment feature. First, I select the text where I want to provide a comment. Then, I click the New Comment button on the Review tab. This places a comment in the margins, with a line pointing towards the section I want to discuss. I can then type whatever I want. Sometimes, simply recording audio commentary and then uploading or embedding a sound file in Word is more effective, not to mention a bit friendlier. That's right. Feedback makes some students anxious, and so they sometimes hear a discouraging tone even in positive written comments. For example, I used to write, good luck on the next assignment, which seemed encouraging enough. Then I had a student say she hated hearing that from her professors. When I asked her to read the sentence out loud, she said, good luck on the next assignment. Recorded audio helps avoid that kind of confusion. It's also well suited for end of paper comments, which are usually the most complicated. One easy to use tool is the sound recorder that comes with Windows 7. Now you will need a microphone to record, but simply navigate to the start orb and begin typing sound recorder in the search box. When the application appears, click to start the program. Next, click the start recording button and then speak normally. When finished, click the stop recording button and save your audio file. From here, there are several options. You can embed the audio file directly into Microsoft Word by clicking and dragging it over to the Word document. Or, if you're using a digital Dropbox or similar file sharing platform, you can just upload the audio file to where the student can retrieve it. Most online course portals, such as Blackboard or Desire to Learn, have a system for exchanging files securely. Remember, though, that sending student grades through email or other non-secure channels violates the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, more commonly known as FERPA. If you would like a text script to accompany audio commentary, you can turn on the speech recognition tool. This tool will type text directly into Microsoft Word or any other application right as you speak. Just note that in order to use this tool effectively, you will need to spend some time training your computer to better understand your voice. All of the speech recognition tools are available through your Windows 7 control panel. And here's the best part. Since I've started using these tools, my comments are more thorough, but I spend less time grading. Which means I get to spend more time with my husband. Yay! Yay! And for the record, all my students seem to love it and find it useful. We hope you find these MS tips useful as well.